Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jana Martinez and today I'm going to show you how I crochet these beautiful star stitch dishcloths. Please check out the description box below for all additional information including links to everything I use in this video. If you're new here and like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notifications. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking this tutorial if you like it, and sharing the YouTube link with your friends. To begin, I have printed the pattern and chosen some 100% cotton yarn. You will also need a G 4mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for weaving in ends. Create a slip knot, and then chain 43. One, two, three, four, five. When you get to 43 chains, we'll meet back up and continue. Here I have my 43 chains complete. Start by inserting your hook into the second chain from hook. So not the loop on your hook, but you're going to count one, two. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on the hook. Now we want to do the same thing into the next four chains. So insert your hook and grab a loop. There's three loops four loops, five loops, and six loops. Now we stop, yarn over, and pull through all six loops on the hook. Then chain one to secure the star stitch. To make your second star stitch, you're going to use this hole at the top of the star stitch and insert your hook into it. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Then into the side of your star stitch, right here, so there's a little yarn that's going this way, you want to insert your hook and then pull up a loop. So now we have three loops on the hook. Then our next three stitches are going to come from two on the chain here and then one from this used chain right here. So insert your hook and grab a loop. So we have four, five, six. Grab your yarn and pull through all six loops. Then chain one to secure the stitch. And we can do this again. Insert your hook into the hole of the stitch, the star stitch. There's my loop. Then into the side of the stitch then into the used chain and then use two new chains. So now you have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one to secure the star stitch. So you want to just continue this all the way down your chain and then when we get to the end I can meet back up with you to finish this row. Now I'm at the end of the row and I'm just completing my very last star stitch. And there is one more chain left right here. That's the one I used already so you don't count that. It's this one right here. And we're just going to half double crochet into it. So to half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch or chain, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there is row one complete. To begin row two, chain two, one, two, and turn. Now this row we're going to be half double crocheting. This chain two counts as our very first half double crochet. Then into each hole of the star stitch, we're going to be placing two half double crochet. So you can see there's one hole right there and then another hole. So each one of the star stitches has those. You're going to place two half double crochet into each one of those spaces. So one, two, and then again, one, two. 
So once we get to the end, I will meet back up with you for the last step. Here I am at the end of row two, and I'm getting ready to place my very last half double crochet. So I did two half double crochet into the very last star stitch hole right there. And what we wanna do is place one half double crochet right at the end here. So this might look a little bit tricky, but just go ahead and place the stitch. So you have these two yarns here, and basically I just find a space and place the half double crochet. Okay, and now we can begin row three. Chain three to begin row three. One, two, three. Turn your work, and now this side is the side we're going to be doing the star stitches again. So into your chain three, you want to place your hook into the second chain from hook. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop, and then do that once more into the remaining chain. Now we're going to do the same thing in these next three half double crochet stitches. So inserting my hook and pulling up a loop. So there we have six loops, yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one to secure the star stitch. From here, we can do the star stitches just like we did for row one. So you're just going to use that space at the top of the star stitch right here, and then the side of the star stitch, the used chain or stitch here, and then two new chains or stitches. There's our six loops. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one to secure the stitch. Continue in this fashion all the way down the work, and when you get to the end, we can meet back up again. Here I am at the end of row three, and I'm just placing my very last star stitch. and you're going to place a half double crochet into the very end. And it's kind of tricky because you're like, where should it go? But you, what you wanna do is you wanna put it right here into this place. And there we go. Row three is complete. From here, you want to repeat row two and row three until the dishcloth is of a desired length or you have reached 11 of these star rows. From here, you want to repeat row two and row three until the dishcloth is of desired length. So here, my red one has 11 rows up to here. And then we can work on the border of this dishcloth. After completing the 11 rows of the star stitch, I'm ready to add a border if I like. Now this is completely optional but you can also do this border or you can just single crochet all the way around the edge of your dishcloth. Following the pattern, we're gonna go ahead and snip our yarn here and fasten off. Next, you want to find the center of your dishcloth. I'm just gonna fold it like this and find the center like this. Then insert your hook, grab your yarn and fasten it. Then make a chain of 12. After you have completed your chain of 12, you're just going to single crochet into the same space. So insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through two loop, both loops. From here, you're going to chain two, one, two, and then I just stretch it out and then single crochet into another space. Chain two, one, two, and single crochet. So you're just going to continue in this fashion all the way around your dishcloth. 
Here, I am just made it to my corner, so I just wanted to show you how that looked. I am chaining two, and then just single crocheting right into the corner. And you can place one or two single crochet to go around the corner. I am just going to place one for now and see how that looks. Just like that, and it worked out fine. When you get back over here, you are just going to slip stitch or single crochet into this same space, fasten off, and sew in your ends. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, share the YouTube link with your friends, and of course, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!